so good to be back with you guys. Welcome back to the ones that are new here. My name is Esther. Welcome to my little unique world. I am so happy to make content for you guys and I'm here for you guys to make the world a better place, more shiny and more happier and to motivate you guys to do what you love to do. So in today's video, today's video is a fun one you guys know based off of the title. It's a Q&A. It's a Q&A and why I picked to make a Q&A video because a lot of you guys requested it on YouTube, I mean on my Instagram. And so I thought, why not make one? And so I made a full on Instagram and you guys were the one that asked me these questions. So I wrote down the questions that you guys have for me to answer. And they're gonna be like 10, 11 of them. I'm just gonna answer them. I think it's gonna be fun. So let's do this. So question number one is favorite brand. This question I get a lot. All of these questions, I honestly get a lot of them. And so I decided to be like, you know what? Let me make a video. So the first question is favorite brand. Um, my favorite brand, honestly, honestly, there's so much I try to stay. I love this art and H&M, don't get me wrong, but I feel like everyone's going on this, going to the store, and I feel like I want to change it up this year and just like try different stores and different brands out. So yes, I love Zara and H&M, and they're. They've been my favorite, but I just want to, you know, spice things up a little and try different ones. And the ones that I've tried and can recommend for you guys are Norse. Well, you guys probably know Nordstrom. I love Cotton On. Cotton On has a lot of good stuff for men and women. And Huckleberry and Bloomington. I love those places. Bloomington, more on the pricier side. Same with Huckleberry, but the quality, love. I'm telling you guys it out and let me know because I love it number two is hair care hair care I'll tell you guys a little hack baby shampoo works and that's what I do because it has less chemicals it has more organic ingredients and it's been helping my hair stay beautiful shiny and doesn't get greasy that fast at least for me that's what has been working for me and also I would recommend to go to the salon every once in a while, at least six months if you can't do every couple months, six months. Um, and just, you know, get a wash, let them wash your hair with the products, you know, cause they have some high quality ones. And, you know, get a touch up, do a couple of hair masks at the salon that you trust. It will do wonders, it will help. And maintenance for everything helps, guys off topic but look at this beauty some homemade juice with strawberries recommend yummy so delicious I love let me try it out so for number three the question you guys asked was if you could live anywhere where would it be honestly this took me a couple days to answer because there's so many places in the world that I would love to live that I think there's so much to see in this world in the first place that I haven't gone, but I definitely traveled a lot in the last couple years, um, and I enjoy every state has its own unique habitat, has its own little thing that's special about it, and I love that. Um, but as far as of now, there is two places that I cannot, I can't pick. So the two places that I would live. If I could live anywhere in the world would be Florida and Africa. Florida is because I love warm weather. Also, I don't guess warm weather too tropical. It's just I don't like cold. Like I just I'm always cold, so I need something hot. So I would say Florida and why it's beautiful. The nature is amazing, stunning. I went to Florida and I love the palm trees. What I love about Africa is that people think, oh, that it's a poor place, but no, it has some beautiful places. Like the water, so there's some things where it's like crystal clear, and there's like private islands that are gorgeous, that are just insanely beautiful that I got experiencing. I love, love, would live there. Would, if I could, I would live there. So those are the two places I would live. Um, I can't pick one, <laughs> that's a hard one, but those are the two places I would live if I could live anywhere in the world. The 
next question, which is the one that I literally laughed at when I saw someone ask me this. How many kids do you want? This question is so cute. Um, currently, for the people that know, I do not have kids. Um, I am just married. It's been not just married. Actually, it's been almost a year. It's almost been a year. Wow, that's crazy. It's almost been a year. Time is flying. Um, but how many kids do you want? I honestly, kids is a subject that is. Oh, I love kids. First of all. I love kids, kids are fun, kids are amazing, especially like, I'm always babysitting, so for me I feel like it doesn't really matter how much, however God gives me, I will be thankful and grateful for, but if I had, you know, if I would tell you a number, it would just be around two, four, something like that, because that's, I love to have it, like, I don't want to have three, and I don't want to have like one either, so it's either two or four. So yeah, that's what honestly would be awesome. I would love two boys and two girls, but we'll see how life goes. We'll see how what life can change. My, I mean, my my thoughts can change. We'll see how things go. We'll see how life changes, but I'm excited. Um, two to four, that's my answer. I am excited for the future, for sure. And on to the fifth question we go, which is where is What's your, where's your favorite place to go to on a vacation? Okay, whoever wrote that, yeah. Anyway, you guys get it. Where would I go on if you had advice I would give you guys for vacations? And honestly, to relax, I would say Maldives. Maldives is a place you can relax, recharge, rewind, and just relax. Like, just relax, is it? Um, I loved it there, I went there, and it was so peaceful, so amazing, and just thinking about it, I feel like going to sleep. <laughs> it's awesome, but if you want something more activity, more high beat, more party style, I would recommend Cancun, Mexico, because that's more activities, it's more active, it's more jet ski, boats, all different kind of parties, it's more upbeat um, if you're looking for the activities. But like I said, if you're looking for relaxation, Maldives, I would, I would say Maldives is the place to go um, for just to get away relax from your kids or just relax from anything you have Maldives is beautiful if you obviously can afford it so that I hope that answers number five on to the sixth question which is a place you want to visit oh this is spicy number six is spicy because I want to go to so many places to have a bucket list of where I want to go and when I heard this question um I was like, dang, this is gonna be hard to answer, but where I wanna go next for sure is Dubai. I, I've watched videos, I've seen so much cool things about Dubai. Um, Dubai is beautiful. The buildings and the sunsets and the people there I heard are so sweet. I really want to experience that place. I've been in Dubai, but I haven't been in Dubai, if you know what I mean. So I've been in the airports and stuff like that, but I haven't like outside of the airports. Um, even the airports are like drop dead gorgeous. Like it's just beautiful. I love, I love, recommend. That's where I want to go. That's where, where I really want to visit, hopefully soon. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys ever visited, you want to visit. I want to know where you guys have visited or if you guys have any recommendations on where to go because I love traveling and I want to check them out. I am a big traveler. <laughs> so that's number six. And number seven is who are you most grateful for? Ooh, I am grateful for everybody in my life. Honestly, I am grateful for every single person that I know. Um, that I have with me, I cherish every person in my life. Um, but if I had to pick one, beside family, I love family, but beside family um, is husband. I love my husband, I look up to him, he's my number one. He inspires me every day, he, literally I look up to him like a 
He's like my role model. I learned so much from him. And I just take so much examples uh, from him. He makes me learn a lot. He uh, helps me grow. And I'm very thankful and grateful and blessed and obsessed. <laughs> All of the good stuff. I am very, very grateful for my husband. I'm very thankful that God has placed him in my life. Um, and also family. So that I hope you guys get that. Um, and so to number eight, where did you start? Why did you start YouTube? I feel like I this is like a million times I read this question. Why did you start YouTube? Everyone's like, why, 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 why? Okay, I'll answer you guys. Why I started YouTube? Because I love making videos. I love making content. I think it's my happy place. When I get out of the camera, I feel like I'm so myself. I'm comfortable. Maybe I'm not the best at what I do, but I'm learning. There's always, you know, it just gets better as you go, as I experience. Um, I'm not trying to become someone. I'm not trying to become famous. I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to build my own little thing. Just do something outside of my comfort zone. Honestly, this was hard in the beginning, but now I'm feeling comfortable creating a lot of new friends. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so loving. You guys always text me and DM me. And I'm so grateful to have such a community, strong community. You guys are honestly the best. I cannot do this without you. And I'm very grateful and honored to have you guys in my life. So that's, is, I hope that answers the question for number seven, if I'm not mistaken, on um, why you started YouTube. Uh, so that's actually number eight. So yeah, that's why I started YouTube. It's fun. It's literally my hobby. I love what I do. I love and I wouldn't do this if I didn't love this. So for the next question, which is the ninth one. Wow, we went through the questions real quick. I love it. I love these questions. You guys are you guys actually ask me good questions um but number nine is what do you value most in a relationship i mean not a relationship friendship i read that wrong what i value most and foremost is for a person to be open i feel like if they're just being fake it makes it harder i want a person that calls me and cries at 2 a.m i want a person that is open and just I can just be open with them and be real and like you know for them to see my good and bad and for them and for me to see their good and bad because nobody's perfect and we're all here to learn and someone that I that like you know been through things in life because people that have been through things know life and like they can give you so much suggestions I look up to people that are older than me I don't really hang out with people of my age honestly I don't really that much I have a few that age, but usually I hang out with people like way older than me and that are like married like I mean I'm married but that have like a lot of kids stuff it's just there's so much to learn so much to like I can grow and I love that so for me what I value most in friendship is to be open and real and that brings us to the 10th question which is that supposed to be the last one that I moved it up to the 10th just for that one person, you know who you are. You're welcome for answering this question. <laughs> oh man, but they asked me, Kobe Jack cheese or cheddar cheese? Um, I honestly, I probably, my husband said I tried Kobe Jack cheese, but I would say cheddar cheese on basic uh, when it comes to cheese. Uh, so cheddar cheese it is, I love cheddar cheese. I love cheese in general, I will drench that thing with cheese, so cheddar cheese is my personal favorite um so yes cheddar cheese is it it is that's my answer for the kobe cheese cheddar cheese. the last juicy question you guys and this one i didn't even answer actually i didn't even write an answer to this last one so you guys are gonna see my organic reaction and answer what is the best advice you've ever received? The best advice I've ever received is for someone to be silent. The best advice I've ever received was from a woman I look up to. I won't say her name, but I look up to her. She's been through a heck of a lot. She has been in my life for as long as I can remember. Um, and she really keeps me going. She really motivates me. She oh, she keeps me on my toes, and that's what I love her. She's just amazing. 
she is beautiful she inspires me to try new things and she's the one that helped me grow you know and just in starting youtube she really told me you know that i have potential so i'm like okay why not this is what i love doing so back to the question which is i keep going off topic guys i just want to talk i just love just you know being sincere with you guys um but the best advice i ever got was be silent and listen the less you talk the more you'll learn and the people that talk a lot they just don't look smart i'm gonna be honest they just don't look smart if you just stay silent and listen if you just listen more listen more and talk less you you will get far in life if you talk less and listen more you will be a lot wiser um and so that is the advice that i've got from the video yeah that wraps up today's video um hope you guys i answered your question if i didn't it's okay comment down in below i will answer in the comments below you guys ask me any questions in the comments i am here i am active i answer I want to be more engaged with you guys. If you guys want to see more interesting videos or videos like this, comment below because I am so excited to announce that I will be going on a trip. There's going to be a vlog. I'm going somewhere. I actually posted on my shorts where I'm going um, like a couple weeks ago. So I'm excited. There's going to be a vlog. A really fun vlog. I'm gonna be going literally in like Thursday morning, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is a friend trip. I'm going with one of my friends. Her name's also Esther. She's amazing, awesome, funny. I just vibe with her the first time I met her. She's she lives here, and I'm so happy to go with her on our first trip. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm excited to take you guys along because I cannot forget you guys. So that will be for the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you again for watching, for tuning in, for liking, subscribing, and staying tuned to all my videos and watching the video. I love you guys so, so, so much. You guys mean the world to me. Stay blessed. Don't be stressed. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.